counting macros um, and specifically how to count your macros. I know that this presents a lot of trouble for, for everybody at first, myself included, but once you get the hang of it, it's really simple. And after you do it for a while, it becomes second nature. And that's really the goal here is for you to track the shit out of your macros initially and then for you to never even have to look at your phone again to know pretty much exactly how much you're eating. <clears throat> so once you install My Macros Plus, which is my go-to macro counting app, you can of course use MyFitnessPal, which is the most popular. I prefer My Macros Plus and I'm gonna show you why. Um, once you get it installed, figure out where it is. For me, it's right here, my second screen, bottom left hand. Uh, go ahead and open it up. So as soon as you open it up, it's going to bring you uh, to the current day. Of course, like you know, all apps, it syncs with uh, exactly what day and time it is based on what region and time zone you tell it that you're in. It's gonna open up and you're gonna see the macros that you have inputted. Um, so for me right now, I'm at 218 grams of protein, 191 grams of carbs, 60 grams of fat, or at least that's the last thing that I put in there. So first and foremost, in order to put those in, you're gonna go right here to the top right hand, uh, little three dots up there in the corner. Oh wait, I can't press it. There we go. You're gonna go into app settings. From there, you are going to go to set nutritional goals. Blah, 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 I like to mess around a whole lot and set different things, don't worry about that. Add macro goal. So we can say, anti, dad, bod, squad. Now let's say, uh, for me, I wanna set my protein goals at, you know, these of course vary, um, 145 grams of protein, zero grams of carbs, 165 grams of fat. There you go, that's kind of like um, standard ketogenic cutting. Uh, now, of course, like don't worry about keto and don't worry about cutting or don't worry about caloric deficit. I was just reading about all of those things and so that's what's the first thing on my mind. So let's say, let's use that for example. Save it. Would you like to apply it now? Yes. Now, when I go back, Boom, it's already applied and you're gonna see what your new goals are <clears throat> according to what you just put in. Okay, so I know that for breakfast today I had four eggs. Now we're gonna go up here, we're gonna search egg. Okay, then we've got egg whites, egg whites, egg whites, extra large eggs, and I didn't have extra large eggs, I had like regular sized uh, eggs large grade A white eggs right down there at the bottom. Perfect, six grams of protein, five grams of fat per egg. That sounds about right to me. I have four of them. Change the serving size and then it automatically changes uh, based on the algorithm that's put in there, the macros accordingly. Hit done, go to the little check up in the right hand corner, then it applies it. Now check this out. This is why I love this hat particularly because now it's put those eggs in there but it's subtracted from my protein and my fat. So I also had an onion and some spinach. You don't log those because you don't log uh, fiber screen vegetables or say something like an onion, which is just mostly water. Uh, you don't log fiber screen vegetables because they are basically pure fiber and water. And the net effect of them on your macronutrients is zero because it costs your body um, the, the same amount to process them as it does to, to ingest them. So, kind of works out like that. Um, okay, so second thing I had, I'm in my kitchen now looking at the remains that I have to clean up, is an avocado. So I had half of an avocado, it's a large avocado. I know that because I'm staring at the other half. Uh, enter in point 0.5, hit done, and voila, it has applied itself. Okay, now this is something that's really handy. Um, one of my favorite things about My Macros Plus is its barcode scanning feature. So again, in the top left corner, where those three lines are, open up the food menu, go down to barcode scanner down there at the bottom. What it's going to do is it's going to open up a camera. Please ignore the dirty kitchen. And you're going to go right here and check out this barcode. It's going to take a second. You want to get the optimal lighting. Matching barcode. So, I had, this says one milliliter of brain octane. Now, 
I'm going to look on the back of this, and it's going to say, <clears throat> on the back of this uh, Brain Octane canister, it says that one tablespoon is 15 milliliters. I had two tablespoons, which means that I'm going to put in 30 milliliters, 28 grams of fat. Perfect. There you go. Now, just to be really specific, I also had a little bit of milk, whole milk, in my coffee this morning. I didn't have a whole lot, but I had enough that I'd like to track it because I like to be as totally precise as possible. So one cup, I definitely didn't have one cup. I probably had closer to about a quarter of a cup. So let's do 0.25 in the whole milk. There you go. Okay, now I know it says right now that I'm negative 11.5 on carbs. Now let's remember first and foremost, I already had set my carbs to zero for the day. There are carbohydrates in this whole milk and a, a nice decent amount of fat and protein. Whole milk tastes very good. Um, however, I'm not really gonna worry about the three grams of carbs that I would have consumed by consuming 0.25 uh, cups of milk. <clears throat> the rest of those carbs that you're gonna see came from the avocado. So let's click onto the avocado and check this out. Remember how I said how you don't count fibrous carbs or fibrous green vegetables because of, of uh, really how much fiber is in them. That's why you don't count that. So the way that you deal with um, fiber in your macros is you subtract the amount of fiber from the carb, from the total carb count, and that's how you end up with your net carbs. So for example, let's say that I eat uh, some oats and the oats have, or let's say an almonds are a better example. Uh, let's say that there are 10 grams of carbohydrates in a package of almonds and five grams of those carbohydrates come from fiber. The net carbs in those, carbo in the, in those almonds is five carbs. Um, this doesn't take that into account. You'll just have to do that yourself. But so you can see right here that in this half of an avocado, those eight and a half grams of carbs are all from fiber. So my total amount of fiber for the day is still only three from this milk because there's no fiber. Does that make sense? Um, and honestly, that's, uh, that's really it. Like it's, it's really just as simple as that. So some people get a little bit uh, verklempt as uh, one of my coaches likes to say, when they are served something and they don't know exactly what's in it. So let's say that you had been served uh, that uh, egg scramble at a restaurant. All you'd have to do is either A, estimate how many eggs are in there, or B, just simply ask your waiter or waitress how many eggs are in that scramble. And then you, you know right there. Because what we're doing is, I mean, as I've said many times, calorie counting is, is an approximate art form. However, it's better than not doing it at all because it at least gets you in the ballpark. And the more chances that you have of, of knowing uh, approximately where you are, the greater your chances of success are gonna be. And really, is whatever we can do to minimize our chances of failure is, is best. Um, so when you go out to eat and say you ordered that, ask them, then you know that it's just eggs, onions, spinach. So like we already talked about, you know that you don't count those or worry about those. And she or he might not know that there's a half of an avocado in there. Well, just estimate. You know, you know how, you, even if you put in a whole avocado, I mean, it's not gonna totally screw up your macros. Um, and it's better to err on the side of being a few, a few calories under than a few calories over. Um,